Hello, my name is Ran and this is Itai. We are Krav Maga instructors. Krav Maga is the Israeli system of self-defense. In Krav Maga, we have only one rule, stay alive. In those short videos, we're going to show you how to defend yourself in a real situation, life and death situation. In Krav Maga, we want to attack only to weak points. In the human body, we have a lot of weak points that I, I, I can overcome a bigger and stronger opponent. We're going to start from the beginning, okay? One of the most deadliest weak points in the human body is the eyes. In any way that I can attack to the eyes with my fingers, push, press, attack, it's good for me. Nobody can continue attacking when you don't see. Let's go down a little bit. Nose, center of the face. In any situation that the attacker grab me, hold me, and I can headbutt, go to the face with open hand, closed fist, elbow, knee, if the head is down, great. Chin, in boxing, we the, the board boxer want to attack to the chin. This is our weak point. Hard punch to this part of the head. The attacker is going down. Throat. In a life and death situation, okay, when I want to overcome a bigger attacker, throat is one of the deadliest weak point in the body. In any situation, I can go to this part. Good for me. Nobody can again continue attacking with no breath. The body is not weak point. This is very strong. Let's go down. Groin. I can kick to the groin. I can go with my knee. Open hand. Beside the damage, the groin give me a body position. When the attacker is down, I can do a lot of stuff or just run away. Knees. In a situation where the attacker comes from the side, and I can attack to the knees by, by my leg and go all the way down and break the knee. It's not easy, but in a situation that I can do damage downstairs to the knee, very good for me. Nobody can continue attacking without a knee. Sideway, sideway, we have ear. I can go to the ears by attacking or just pulling and take it out. Of course, it sounds crazy, but again, with the Attacker put both hands on me, okay, and try to grab me and slam me to the floor. And the only thing that they hold is the ears. This is what they're going to do. Last one, back of the head. In a situation that maybe the attacker is bent down after a kick to the groin, and I can hit here. That's it, lights out. Okay, this is how I can win a fight by attacking to this part of the back, back of the head. All right, so let's talk about a fighting stand. So what is a fighting stand? Fighting standing is a basic position that allows me to optimize my options to attack and to defend. On the street, most of the time, I will not start in a fighting stand because I'm not going to walk down the street with my hands up and my legs like this. I'm just going to be natural. But uh, after something happens, I want to get myself into a fighting position where I can attack, I can defend, and I can also assess the situation and understand exactly what I want to do from this position. So how do we go into a fighting stand? Let's start from the legs and then climb the way up. Start with the legs. I'm gonna take my front leg, which will be my weak leg, forward. The angle between the legs is gonna be around 45 degrees. I'm always gonna stand on the balls of my foot because I wanna be very flexible, I wanna be very like a spring. 60% of the body weight is gonna lean forward, the elbow is gonna be tucked in so I can protect also my body, and my hands is gonna cover my head. I don't need to raise my hand so high, I'm gonna cover it in a chin level. This is my fighting stand. I don't need to clench my fist very strong. I can relax a little bit. When I'm striking, I will clench my fist. But right now, I want to be loose. So from the legs, 45 degrees, hands in, and guarding the face. Body weight, 60% forward. That's my fighting stand. Chin, always down. Let's look how it looks from the side. Up, and I'm in a fighting stand. From the other side, and I'm in a fighting stand.